welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello i have this week's marketplace haul and by marketplace haul i mean flea markets i mean secondhand auction wins and i mean thrift stores so this week i have a lot of flea market finds um some really good boys ones i find so many girl toys that when i find boys toys i always feel extra special <laughs> I don't know why it's so much easier to find girls toys and boys toys let's start with the bags down here these bags there was a lot of them on a desk I mean about 20 to 30 different bags um it looked like a young couple selling off their son's collection each bag was two dollars each so for two dollars each I looked at each one and I thought hmm there's stuff in there that I really like now I don't know if I've got good buys or not it was kind of like one of those things where you look through but you there were a lot of other people there after I came up and I was kind of rushed so I grabbed <laughs> what I thought was good let's start off with this bag here so looking through this bag here I saw this trash pack bin right here we don't tend to collect play sets anymore we just don't have the room so i like the small figurines i saw these little men who i think might be sleek i don't know if they are but they might be sleek and if you don't know what sleek is it is a german figurine toy they are expensive um just for a small figurine around this size like a tiny little dog you're looking at about eight dollars new zealand for and i saw these garbage cans in here now i saw that there was one little figure coming out of a garbage can here you can see it kind of falling out i asked her if there were figurines in the other garbage can she said yes i think so let's have a look what i got for two dollars so we're opening this up together <laughs> okay so this is a wheelie bin so this is quite cool because this can go in as accessories it's got all sorts of whirly things open up here oh there's no figurines in here and it looks like you put the figurines I guess in and they go down there uh, can you open it any other way oh oh so they go in the top they go through these little things here and they come out a slide it looks like there's a little house for your garbage your trash pack there which is kind of cool I really like that what's next is this trash pack hang on let me just bring it off the camera a sec it says moose and it has a little nook on the front here it looks like something that could be trash pack what it's for i don't know i'll just put it in his accessories box um i think it is an, a trash pack accessory let's bring out what's next okay so this can go back in the donation pile which we will give back to the thrift stores um these bags were from a flea market or marketplace as we call them in new zealand so this can go back he has a lot of of um vehicles grab out these little men that I see in here I think these might be sleek I'm not entirely sure let's have sleek Germany printed on the underfoot here we have a building man I'll say a figurine like this would cost you about ten dollars New Zealand so I got three of them along with a bunch of other stuff for two dollars New Zealand awesome some sort of building man is he a sleek oh i don't know if this guy's a sleek he doesn't have oh no he has it on his leg so there's another place to spot it sorry if the camera goes out of focus and he looks like some sort of ranger so where i'm sitting i keep putting the figurines off to the side because where i'm sitting in relation to the camera is slightly off kilter and it's putting me off so have we got a trifecta yes we do this is another sleek figurine a glide a guy with a riding whip it looks like oh i don't know if i like this one it looks like he's got some sort of whip maybe he's one of the horse riding set or something uh yeah so got three of those those are worth well over two dollars in themselves then we have this little monkey this monkey just says two thousand i don't know what this monkey is and to be quite honest i just think it's a cheap set it's not a sleek figure sleek are very realistic um he can go back in the donation <laughs> okay so on to these bins whoops oh there's two figurines hang on can i get the other one out oh awesome i don't have some of these okay cool 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 like this one here 
Now, Trash Pack are basically the mother to Shopkins. They were a collectible boys toy. So they went right up until um, Series 5 as the Trash Pack. Then I went into Series 6 as Rotten Eggs. And we have been collecting them over time for a long time. But because we started later in the game, we find it harder to find the early sets. So this is going to be cool. It's going to have heaps of new things for us, I hope. Oh, it's chocker in there. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. Most of these are going to be new to us, which is cool. Look at this. It's like three little brains together. How cool is that? Okay. I'm going to cycle through these really fast. Cool little TV. So this guy might be a special one. He's translucent, so he's a bit different from the others. Cool! Reminds me of the Pokemon Ekans. Okay, this guy might be another special edition. He is super metallic. And super cool looking. Frosty the fridge. And that was the last one in this big pack. Let's get back to the bag. Okay, so we've got a truck in here. It looks kind of like an Optimus Prime sort of truck. Oh, it is a Poptimus Prime. Now, this looks to me like a McDonald's toy. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is this is an uh, Optimus Prime. You can see the Autobots sign on the front. So this looks like a McDonald's toy with that on and off switch. Um, again, something that will hand on to the thrift store, as I don't need that. So this is the last thing in that $2 bag. So far, I've more than covered myself <laughs> from what you can pay. A, certainly to buy it brand new, and B, to buy it from like auction, secondhand auction when, or, or dealers. Okay, so I don't know if that's a trash pack, which I just got out of this one. Some sort of weird little green monster guy. I don't think that's a trash pack, so we're going to give that one, put that down in the donation pile. But however, this guy is new. Is little vulture, is he cool or what? Okay, so the next bag I got off the table was this one, and I'm not sure if you can see it yet. You probably can see it now. I saw giant Lego figures. Again, Lego is a super expensive toy, um, so to find it at the markets quite often, even it's expensive. I get lucky sometimes and get entire bags of it for like $10 New Zealand, um, huge big plastic bags of it, and it's always... It's, it's far between though, but when you do, you always feel pretty cool when you do. Let's open up this bag and have a look. Okay, so the first two things I'm going to bring out are... Oh! <laughs> Book labels. Have they been used? It looks like there's stuff in there. So this was a $2 bag, remember? So I have a boy-orientated book labels, some Marvel superhero ones. And some Star Wars ones. Hey, it's school soon, so... Well, actually, they're going to go off for their Christmas holidays in New Zealand, and then they go back for their school, but still, going to need these pretty shortly, so that's timely. All right, what's next? Okay, so... <laughs> this is a very basic Lego man of the large variety. Oh, he's got lights on him. How do I turn on the lights? Eh. Okay, there's a button on his front. Obviously, the batteries um, ran out, but that's pretty cool. So, I'm sure I can change the batteries. Oh, there's screws on the back. And he has this weird sort of clip. <gasps> Do you know what I think he is? I think he's like a book light. Like, um, when kids are reading books at night, they clip them onto the top and the light shines down onto the page. How cool is that? Now, these Lego men, I've seen from everything from $15 um, onwards. So, let's see how many are in this $2 bag. What am I grabbing next? Now this is a Lego Chimera. Hang on. It looks like his eyes are over this way, but his head's over this way. Okay, let's move his... Ah! 
his mask has kind of gone off his head. There we go. I fixed it. So this is obviously a keyring. It doesn't look bashed around at all. Oh, it has lights. Oh, it's another one with batteries in. So what do you do? Oh, and this one works. How cool is that? A little... I hope I'm saying it right. I think it's C-H-I-M-A or C-H-I-R-M-A. But it's kind of like a fantasy sort of Lego set. And this is one of the big guys on a key ring. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, what else have we got in here? Have we got another one? What am I grabbing next? Oh, uh, beads. <laughs> Uh, beads with a Darth Vader on. Well, that's weird and um, yeah, so I don't think we'll be doing much with that. Let's just put that to the side. <laughs> that can go back in the donation bins. Another Lego figure. Awesome. I thought there was one more in there. Oh, all right. Now this one here looks, he's another key ring. It looks brand new. Let's see if his light works. Yes, his lights on his feet work. How cool is that? This one looks to be part of the Ninjago Lego um, set. Awesome. Like, this is like the evil dude, isn't he? From the Lego movie. Wow, I am so excited with that. My son's going to be absolutely happy. That was a really good $2 bag. And we still haven't done, though. I'm not sure. Oh, hang on, something popped out. Oh, hang on, there's two of these. Hold on, I just saw this. I might actually hang on to these because these accessories, quite often when I get figurines, um, sometimes vintage figurines, they're missing things like helmets or guns, accessories. So I might put this in my Hoosie What's It bin, which is basically my toy bin for all the things when I'm looking to do up Barbies, doing, you know, old doll clothes, accessories, when I'm looking to restore something and I know I've got it. So these are kind of Star Wars pieces. That's kind of cool. There might be someone out there who actually wants those. They might see them and I say, oh, I've got the figurine for that and I really need that accessory. We've got a couple more of these weird Star Wars beads. Not my son's scene. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put those aside. I can't say that he'll ever want to play with beads. And then we have this Star Wars sign, which looks like Maybe like a placement stand for a Star Wars figure. Do you guys know? Can anyone tell me? It's got two little prongs at the side here. I'll put it in my Hoosie What's It's Been though because if anything, I know that Star Wars figurines are highly sought after. Okay. All right. So the next bag I got was another bag that I saw Pokemon and some trash packs in. We're doing really well so far. Let's keep going. These bags were absolutely awesome. So what is this thing? Is it like some sort of flying? No, 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 no. I think I had it right the first time. It's this way. This is one of these Star Wars droids, isn't it? Oh, how cool is that? Wow, that is super cool. That is definitely going to have to go on my, my sci-fi shelf. It's a Star Wars droid, and look at the detail in this figurine. It's probably worth $2 just by itself, and I've got a whole bag full of stuff there. Um, <laughs> which is, I'm really excited about these ones. Next, I have a Hotel Transylvania McDonald's toy. Sorry, my dear, but just not interested in this, so let's put this in the donation pile back to the thrift stores. Then there's this. Now this, I know, is a Pokemon. It even says 2013 Pokemon Tomy. So this is an official figurine. It's even got its code at the back. And again, Pokemon figurines, the official ones, are very expensive. I've got a couple of marks here. That's not going to... That's just going to be cleaned off with a bit of soap and water. No problem about that. I don't know the Pokemon. I apologize. Oh! However, it looks very cool. So that's another one for the collection. What's next? Oh, okay, this is really cute. This is a How to Train Your Dragon figurine. I absolutely love this movie. I actually brought my son, um, I actually took my son to the live action How to Train Your Dragon um, show. So he got to see the big dragons being flown up over the sky and the, oh my goodness, it was in New Zealand. It was amazing. I took him along to it. So he actually has a soft toy of um, Toothless. So let's put them, this one on his shelf. I'm sure he'll love it. What else do we have? Uh, we have a sheep. 
I don't know if this is a Shaun the Sheep sheep. It looks very much like one. I have no idea what the purpose of this is. It's not a squeezy toy. It has a hole in the bottom. Doesn't make any noises. Uh, this one can go back to the donation pile. What? Okay, next in the bag is, I saw this, um, kind of broken off leg dinosaur. Yeah. Let's put that in the bin. There is no saving that guy. So there's one for the bin so far. One for the bin. What have we got in here? We have some Pokemon flip coins. How cool are those? These actually sell for $2 each at my local card store. So we have a Mewtwo and I'm not sure what that one is. Somebody will have to tell me. It looks like, oh, hang on. It might be that Emperor Penguin. It's an Emperor Penguin, but a Mewtwo and an Emperor Penguin. My daughter will be excited. Definitely keeping those. We have a, I can see a Pikachu. Oh, this is really cute. What's the date on this one? This looks like one of the old figurines. Doesn't even have a date on it. Look at this, Pikachu. How adorable is that? And also very timely for next year is the Pokemon Detective uh, movie coming out with Detective Pikachu. Pikachus are gonna be super sought after everywhere. Oh, look at Bulbasaur. Oh my goodness, it's a little Bulbasaur. This one says 2004. How cute is that? Oh, I love him, I love him. Yeah, I think this actually might be my favorite bag just for the Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so the trashies we got are these two here and oh, something weird there. We got this kind of semi-translucent lampshade. So I think this might want be a special one. These ones tend to be specials or something. Might be glow in the dark, and this one looks like one of the fighting trash packs where you put them on those spinners and they spin around. Cool. Uh, ooh, I don't know if that's anything authentic. Uh, looks like a transformer. I'm not going to try and transform it. This one's just going to go straight into the donation back to the thrift store piles. Some little boy will love that transformer car. And some weird little figurine that's also going to go. Looks like actually like a game piece for some sort of sci-fi game. It has underneath it power, speed, and skill. Yeah, it looks like it's some sort of sci-fi game, some sort of sci-fi thing. So that can go in the donation pile. Someone will find it. And that is another empty bag. Wow. <laughs> I will do a flyby at the end. Okay, so let's move on to the next pieces. Okay, so next what I'm going to bring up is something that's vintage and I found for $2 in a flea market bin. This was in a flea market bin with a bunch of broken dolls. Now I didn't, I'm not going to show you the broken dolls, but they were monster highs with pieces broken off and brats that were just heads, etc. And the lady wanted 50 cents each. Um, and she, I asked her about this and she said I could have it for $2. She kind of shrugged her shoulders. So she obviously didn't know what it was. It has a little X on its paw, but that's nothing that I can't fix. That's an easy fix with some sunlight and some acne cream. The main part with this thing is making sure that the flocking was decent quality. And the flocking is fine. It's got a little mark there, which I can just reflock. Um, there are tutorials on how to reflock your um, toys and how to recurl them. So this is pretty decent quality for a sweetie pup which is a vintage toy we'll go on to that one now we've got some brats babies here the, oh these were also in that 50 cents bin i think this one yeah this one was in the 50 cents bin as well so this was in with all the broken ones i can't see anything broken on her other than she's dirty so she is going to take a bit of a clean but it's a brats baby and it's one we don't have with real hair Super duper cute, 50 cents. I couldn't leave it there. It's just going to take a toothpaste. Yes, I use toothpaste to clean some of my dolls. Actually works really well. Um, and a bit of a scrub with a toothbrush. <laughs> so that's really good. Now this other Bratz I got off. Now this Bratz, this doll, um, which I think believe is a Diva Star. We don't actually, this will be our first ever Diva Stars. I don't like them. Um, and this my scene here, we got all off a lady for two dollars at a flea market. Um, quite a few different flea markets here. I think this one might be in her authentic clothes. It's got a little couture white t-shirt with a sparkly pink thing there. 
gorgeous um, snake skin impersonated kind of pink coat and three quarter length leggings down here and a little pink belt. Does she have the same face as the other one? No, this one has a different colored eyeshadow. However, she has the brown eyes and kind of the same hair set up as the other one. So it may be the same baby girl, just in different eyeshadow, different clothes. So this one here was $2. Just needs a bit of shampoo, a bit of a hand wash on the clothes and she'll be good. That was our another breast baby. Then we'll go on to this one. Okay, onto a doll I don't actually like. I grabbed this because it was two dollars and the ladies put its hair up so you can see all the electronics back here. It needs batteries to check if it works. We don't understand the obsession with Diva Stars. I'm sorry if you like Diva Stars. I always thought the dolls were incredibly, incredibly unattractive. It came with this cute little bra. It came with these long sparkly pants and um the knees are clicky, is that right? Oh, they just kind of, yeah, the knees are clicky like the old fashioned Barbies. Um, the arms are just straight up and down. I don't like the faces, I'll bring it up. So I think the whole point of this is she's meant to talk and kind of be a bit electronic like a friend. Even with the glasses down and once I've styled the hair to be down, maybe in a half up style, it, it's not my sort of doll. It's it's one of those dolls that you either love or you hate and yeah, this is our first one and my daughter just wanted it so we grabbed it while we're there. But I can say that I don't think I'm turning to Diva Stars anytime soon. Oh no! <laughs> Next a doll we absolutely love, Barbie Mycene. The perfect match between Barbie and um and brats, if they had a baby, I always say that. So she's got this denim outfit on. It goes all the way around. I'm just trying to see if it's a handmade one or an actual official doll one. It actually looks like it might be an official doll one. I was trying to look for any tags. Is it overlocked? No. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Oh, yep. There is an official tag down here. Let's open it up. I can't because whoever it is has... Cut it. <laughs> so it's a doll dress of some make. I don't know whether it's an official my scene doll. However, the doll is herself. She's beautiful. She just needs a wash. Her hair hasn't been cut, which is great. Good skin tone. Let's bring her up. She's so pretty. I love my scene dolls. Absolutely gorgeous. Clicky legs on them. Really cute. Two dollars. It was a bargain. Okay, next, oh now this is, this one was in, if you remember me mentioning the 50 cent bucket with all the broken brats heads and monster high half bodies and stuff like that. This was in with those. This is a little Kelly doll ballerina. It's got her outfit on which I would have happy, with the shoes, which I would happily play 50 cents just for the outfit and the shoes for one of my other Kellys. However, the muck on her face is just something that can be scrubbed and her hair is keeping it it's actually quite good her hair if I bring her up a bit you can see the muck on her face that's an easy clean for me she's got her little bow in her hair so she's complete all she needs is some TLC and she will be perfect again and Astra will be over the moon because she loves little Kelly dolls so that one was 50 cents what are we gonna do next let me get the monster highs up close. <laughs> okay, I need to do some of these marketplace videos a lot, like two a week I think or something, to try and cut the video time down. This entire bag of monster high stuff was from a separate, another flea market stall. Um, $3 New Zealand for the entire lot. It's got stands, it's got everything. Let's go through it pretty fast. All right, I feel like I've struck gold a bit look at all these monster high stands now the new monster high dolls that i've opened um don't come with doll stands and the amount of times i've opened dolls and say oh i wish i had more doll stands look at this and this is just not this isn't the entire bag there's heaps more to come a heap of doll stands i'm happy all right let's get into next what's in the bag 
Okay, next we have a heap of diaries and mini posters, etc. Um, my daughter absolutely loves Monster High diaries, and so do I, but ours are all mint condition. These ones are a bit tatty, and honestly, they have seen better days. So these most likely are going to be recycled. Um, I'm not going to pass these on. I don't think anyone would really want them. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but at the moment, these are going to be recycled. A heap of Monster High brushes. Awesome. Um, I'm all for pieces like this because things like this get lost over time. That's actually a belt <laughs> stuck on one of the prongs. But yeah, a bunch of Monster High brushes, so that's really cool. There is three pieces of cloth clothing. This looks like a Draculaura jacket of some sort. This looks like a Frankie bathing suit, which is kind of cool. And a, oh, I don't know, maybe a Howleen kind of overshirt of some sort. I'm not too certain, but those are those. I'm now going to pour the rest of the bag out onto the table and do a bit of flyby. Okay, so we got some trunks, we got some bags, we got some pets. That looks like Jane Boolittle's pet there. We've got, oh, this is really cool. She's one of my favorite Abby's um, pet here. Uh, we got some pieces which are awesome because so many times you see secondhand dolls missing their body pieces. Um, they've just been lost over time. We got some Rochelle wings. We got a Jaina fire tail. Um, don't know what that is. Some sort of stuff. Some more handbags. We got a hat. More handbags. More accessories. So you can see we got a heap of stuff. Um, just in that three dollar bag. Awesome. So some Rebecca Steen kind of glasses. I <laughs> love this bubble hammock. <laughs> really, really good value for money. A $3 bag of all those accessories and especially those doll stands. Awesome. All right, so going on to the dolls. These dolls were $2 each. They need some TLC. Some are better than others. This is, of course, an Abby. She has her dress on. This one is actually the best of the lot for two dollars she just needs her hair cleaned her her body pieces are perfect she's got her shoes on her joints are great and a gorgeous gorgeous top there so I need to look up what accessories she's missing because we don't actually have this doll this type of doll we have lots of Abby just not this one with the rainbow pastel stripes in her hair <laughs> really good for two dollars New Zealand Okay, the next is a Frankie. Check out this dress on her. Oh my goodness, it's great. Her body is really con good condition. Again, her hair just needs a shampoo. I don't know why, but some lovely has taken her lipstick off. That is a quick fix with a sealant and acrylic paint for me, so that's no problem. Um, maybe it's meant to be like that because she looks very, very um, spooky, if I must say, this body one. But the thing that got me was this dress. The dress is in really good condition. It's super cute. There's a couple of strings coming out, but I don't think they're actually missing their beads. I think that's just coming off the dress. And still, look at the dress. It looks amazing. So this Frankie was $2 New Zealand. And the last doll, um, Monster High doll, off the seller for $2 New Zealand was this Cleo. She came with this guitar, but this guitar looks to me to be a Bratz accessory. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this does look to be a Bratz accessory. Oh, it says MGA Entertainment in there. Pretty sure it's a Bratz accessory considering Monster High is <laughs> Mattel. So that kind of confirms that. Let's buff that that way. Um, again, really good body on her. I love this top. And a gorgeous little gold skirt. She's got her shoes on. A look at these cool sundial semi see through heels. Just a really neat doll. Really, all these dolls need is just a good shampoo. How awesome is that? Now, something my daughter picked up from a thrift store and she wanted me to show is an animal jam thing. You can see she got it here for a dollar from the thrift store. It's code's gone. They tendly tend to come with their code. I'm surprised it's still attached to it. So I'm going to snip this off because the codes come in these little parcels. It's a little monkey. It is in pristine condition. Like there's no marks on it whatsoever. It looks like someone just grabbed the code off it and it sat on their shelf until it finally reached the thrift store. 
Very, very cute. <sighs> On to the last two bags from this marketplace haul. Uh, right here, I've almost forgotten what's in them. Oh my golly gee, I might actually leave them for the next marketplace haul. Oh, no, that one only has a little few things. Let's see how many. No, this, this is actually full of 50 cent pieces we got. Let's do this in another marketplace haul. I mean, they went to the side, something fell off the side, I think. Oh, the animal jam. Last of all, let's do what's in this yellow bag. Let me empty it out. Now, everything in this yellow bag was picked out of a 50 cent ah, box. The girls, I brought this off with two young girls. They had a box out the front at a flea market store. Excuse all the crinkling. <laughs> Some people going, my ears, my ears. And um, the first thing I want to show is this mad ball. Now this isn't a mad ball like the squishy mad balls of the 80s. This is a mad ball Rubik's Cube. So you have to sort him out and put his face back together. I thought this was really weird as I've never seen it before and I really liked it. <laughs> so I have a mad ball Rubik's Cube for 50 cents. Uh, Littlest Pet Shop, Hermit Crab. Very, very cute. Gorgeous. Uh, Lala Loopsy Pencil Topper. Whoop, if we wait for once again, focus. Gorgeous. Oh, two more La La Loopsy pencil toppers. Let's bring them all up at once. This one needs a bit of a clean. The other one's good. I got these because I love to buy my kids fancy pencils from Smiggles. And sometimes they don't always have things on the top. So I like to plonk things on top that are cute. Oh, we got these two, three puppy in my pockets so to see if those ones need to be marked off my son's list because he loves puppy in my pockets ah <laughs> dropping them everywhere let's put those back down and last of all the last thing to show is another couple of la la loopsy pencil toppers except this time it's the animal friends very cute they'll end up on some pencil heads in my Delvitus room. Let's do a flyby, see what we got. <clears throat> okay, we have got our dolls we got this week. The first Diva Star, I don't know if I like her or not still. I don't think I'll be getting any more. We got a bunch of Monster High stands and Monster High accessories along with the three dolls. A heap of Schleek, Trash Pack, Lego, Star Wars, and other odds and bods out of like those two dollar bags some monster high stands out of the three dollar bags we got some brats babies here we got some la la loopsy pencil toppers some more monster high accessories i'm really excited about that monster high bag a lot of stuff for not much money let's put it that way <laughs> will cost me a ton ton more if I brought it new or if I brought it off a secondhand dealer. Flea market finds were awesome this week. Okay, so to pick a favorite. Well, I really don't know where to start. Uh, do, 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 do. Pick a favorite. I love the Monster High dolls. I love the Bratz dolls. You know, what? I'm going to go with something completely different. I'm going to go with this little vintage find here. This little sweetie pup yellow sweetie pup here I think I already have that one um but now it's got a sister <laughs> I just love it it's followed by a close second however with this brat doll I really like this one and I can't wait to restyle her hair and get her shelf worthy because she is gorgeous if you love marketplace hauls please give this video a thumbs up if you love toys in general please subscribe we love to open toys here and we love to share thanks very much for watching bye bye darling she'll love me one day you all will love me one day <laughs>